What's going on guys? Welcome to Sonic Sounds and today we are going to talk about how to make a remix in Logic Pro X in 2023. Now I have a video on my channel that shows this about six, seven years old. It's still one of the videos that I get a lot of questions on and people want to know how do they do this in Logic in 2023. So let's hop into Logic Pro. We'll find a song and we'll make uh, a remix out of it by extracting the vocals and doing a bunch of things to make it sound stylistically different. Make your own and really it'll be your own remix. All right, so we are in Logic Pro X and the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, show you this amazing website called vocalremover.org. Now you can literally bring in any vocals right here or any track right here and it's gonna convert and separate the audio from the vocals and the instrumental and you can export those separately in here as well. It usually takes only a few minutes, even less than that, but sometimes it could take longer depending on how many folks are using it. There you go, it's almost done. So what we're gonna do is, um, as soon as it pops up, we're gonna mute the music and then we can hear the vocals here. We were good, we were cold. That's pretty good, right? And also it tells you the key and the tempo here, which is gonna be extremely, extremely helpful. So we're just gonna go here, save, and we're gonna change the format to fave because we want a little bit of quality and just save that and bring that into Logic Pro X. All right, so both of the tracks are in Logic Pro X. Now we know the track was in 118 right here. And what I'm gonna do is just mute the music. Um, actually, let me do this because we don't wanna get a copyright track. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transpose everything by uh, a couple of semitones. So it's super simple in Logic. If you don't have this, click on the I and you can literally select a track or multiple tracks and you can change the scale of it. So we're gonna do negative three and let's see, you know, we're gonna try and line it up from here. So what I usually like doing is just uh, removing the first few bars here, just so we have some wiggle room to go around. So let's see what this is gonna sound like. I can All right, so obviously the downbeat is right here. Kind of zoom in if you want. And what we're gonna do is Let's hit K and turn the tempo on and see if the vocals line up. I can buy me some flowers, write my name and sing. All right, that's perfect. And you know, I kind of like that low voice and maybe we can work on a different type of a remix right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure it's cut to a downbeat right here. So now pretty much I know the tempo is 118. I can move things around if I wanna keep it at 118. But also you can hit Command F and as soon as you change the scale of it, it's gonna turn it into flex mode. Now what's cool is if you wanna change the tempo of this now, let's say I wanna make it a 130, right? I'm gonna mute the music and I can buy me some flowers, write my name and sing. Pretty cool, right? I can, I can change the tempo without having a lot of impact on it. So obviously I'm gonna, just put a little EQ on the vocals for the low frequencies right there. Now you may be wondering why I have a browser open right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go flowers chords, right? And really go to the first site and you can see that it's A minor, D minor, G, C, A minor, D minor, E7 right here. So again, we're gonna work with the hook right now and just build around the hook, but you have the chords right here. So let's keep it simple, we're gonna do now, keep in mind, we did bring it down three scales here. So you're gonna have G sharp, G, and F sharp minor. So now the song is in F sharp minor. What we're gonna do is just go down three steps right here. You can see that the chords are F sharp minor, B minor, E, and A. Again, that repeats. You can choose to use this chord if you want to. For the sake of what we're doing, I'm gonna keep it simple. But again, you can do pretty much anything you want. So let's go ahead and lay those chords down right here. I'm gonna open up my keyboard and just a simple piano right here in Logic Pro X. Just gonna go here with my favorite piano plugin, the Piano Tech 8. But I, I can buy me some flowers, write my name in sand. All right, so that's pretty much gonna repeat. So what we're gonna do is now select all of this and hit Q and then looks like the chords are coming in pretty much like this. Let's see if it, Kind of fits here. I can buy me some flowers, write my name in sand. All right, and just for uh, programming purposes, we're gonna open up the Sonic Sounds Ultimate Reggaeton Kit. But again, that kit has so many sounds that we can use. So let's start bringing in some drums right here. And 
we're gonna do a little fast reggaeton type of a beat for this song. All right, we're gonna go to the ultimate reggaeton kit right here. And ultimate reggaeton, we have the free edition on the site as well. We're gonna go to the premium one and let's go and find a kick. All right, I like this kick already, but. I like doing everything in Drum Designer. Right click, Pattern Region. Literally, let's just do a every downbeat and see what this song. I can buy myself flowers, write my name in sand. All right, cool. Uh, let's lower this a little bit and maybe make it a little more groovy. Let's do like 108. I can buy myself flowers, hey. write my name in sand. All right, I'm all over the place, but I want to add some pads here. So we're going to go here, go to blue carpet, one of my favorite pads right here, giving all the trade secrets away. Um, once it's there, just copy paste this. I can buy myself flowers, now, another cool plugin in Logic Pro right here we have is the step effects. So go to multi packs and go to step effects right here. Again, we have a banger right here. You can just write to this, right? And then change the production up. So I like that. And what I'm going to do is just move the, the stereo delay after all this. So all that stuff is delayed. All right, cool. And now what we're going to do is go to Lovely Splice. And we have a bunch of samples right here. So we're going to audition some samples uh, from Splice as well. and. We're going to use our Sonic Sounds Reggaeton kit to see what we can do. Again, for the Sonic Sounds Reggaeton kit, let's find some percussions. There's a bunch. So I'm going to choose a selected few. Go to Drum Designer right here. Bring them all in. And now I'm going to try to build a groove around this. So we're going to do a Create Pattern Region. Let's do that. And then what we're going to do is... So I like this. I think it should come every other downbeat. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, I can come here. All right, pretty cool. I like that. And maybe I'll do that here. Okay, maybe this could be like a roll or a flam at the end. So what we're going to do is 32 steps and here we're going to keep it regular. But what we're going to do here is uh, knock the octave, the repeat, right? So when it comes here. All right, I like that. Now what we also need is we need a bass. So we're going to go here, go to bass here and try to find a bass that works. I like this now one of my favorite things to do is literally just bring down the chords here and once you select all of them you'll see what chord it is so here and it, this is actually good if you get midi kits online and you want to do this as well all right and then select all all right so now let's create a bounce out of the bass line let's hear what the bass sounds like all right so let's hit Hit Command A, and you're going to do Option, Shift, and pull everything back. So it's almost the same size, right? And now let's create like a little donkey groove right here. So we're going to do this. And let's do a little filler right here. Bring it back. Okay, again, a little filler right here. I think we might need a few of those fillers, so we're going to do those here. All right, so we have that right here, and now what we can do is we can obviously bring this in. Let's open up Alchemy and some built-in sounds from Logic Pro X and see what we can... What we can find that complements this remix. So I'm just going to go here and hit Alchemy. Search for it. And close this. We're going to go to Bass. And just search for some like a funky. 
All right, let's move it up. All right, so what we can do is, so that one has a punch and this one has the bite. So let's go to the previous one that had some low frequencies and cut some of the top off. All right. All right, let's maybe change this to 115, or maybe we can go up to 118, the original tempo. Actually, I think the faster one was better, so let's let's go to 120. All right, so let's get some hi hats in. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to experiment to see what sounds good. All right, I like 35, so I'm just gonna go here, go to Drum Machine Designer again. This is from the Sonic Sounds Pack. So let's just do. All right, and then what we can also do is go to Alchemy here, and then maybe we can um, bring the chords in again and let's see if we can find a nice uh, a lead sound. Or let's let's try mallets actually. Let's see. Right, let's move this down. Like this. Now what's cool about Logic is let's say you do this, right? And then you decide that you want to move everything back to the original tempo. What you're going to do is just select all the melodic elements right here. So we're going to exclude all our hi-hats and everything. And really just select everything and just, we're going to do... Let's transpose all of this back to zero. So it's going to go to its original tempo. And then all of this, we're just going to do plus three. Also, what you can do is experiment with loops on things like splice. So I've loaded up splice here, it's connected. Now, I know that I need some loops in A minor, so I'm just gonna, let's do so just some drum searching right here to see if there's any percussions or anything like that available here. Let's go to loops here. And uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna wrap the tempo right here in Logic Pro, so. All right. I like that fill right here that was going on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy it. So you're going to click plus, you're going to get the credit. Now what you're going to do is click here. So what it's going to do is it's going to process the tempo from 90 to what your project tempo is. You're going to go here and bring it in right here. So we're going to get this in our project now. So let's see what this sounds like now. Now, I do like this, but what I don't like is the kick and all that is there. So, simple solution. Just gonna do EQ and just keep the stuff I like. Now, you can just rearrange this, move all of these things around, and you're going to have your own remix. So again, we're going to go here again, see if we can find an, like a transition effect. Put that in the beginning, in here. Now what you can also do is you can obviously take this vocal, right? And then let's say you want to do some kind of a remix where you don't want the original vocal, but you want parts of it. Literally just select a part of the vocal, go here and go to original. Now what it's going to do is it's going to pretty much chop this up. You can slice it how you want. 
You can obviously do it by beat division as well. So let's say you want to just trigger a different. Right? So go to mono here. Right? So let's do a one bar. Right? So now let's go ahead and maybe put something in here that's not the original vocal. So that was how to make remix in Logic Pro in 2023 and beyond. Again, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a quality vocal. This can come from Splice. This can come from Fiverr where you have somebody recording it. Or you can record it yourself if you're a good vocalist. Or you can also extract it using AI from a song that you already like. You're going to need some quality samples for some of those quality drum samples that knock really hard. You can always check out IamSonicSounds.com. Or you can use things like Splice. And then you're going to need some chords and backing arrangements in the style that you want to make the remix in. And there you go. That's all you need to make your own remix. If you still have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, head over to our Instagram. We talk to a lot of people in DM as well. If they have any questions, they always message me on there as well. So feel free to stay connected there as well. Keep making some dope music. I'll see you at the next one.